Hey everyone. Okay, as you can see, this is the former Mouse Craftsman. It's pretty much stripped down to its bare essentials. Transmission's still in it, as you can see, hydrostatic. The uh, front uh, suspension is still in it. No steering box, no dashboard, no engine, obviously. It got sold last weekend. Next on this here, I gotta cut out this center section so I can get the template for the uh, bolt pattern for my second gen steering. So that's next on this machine here. I have them side by side to uh, just look at the comparisons between the two chassis and see if they have um, matching holes that I can use to um, uh, basically mount my template on. And they do. They have these uh, two square holes at the back. Unfortunately the round ones are too big on this chassis here. They're a lot smaller on the uh, older chassis which is the, most, which is the Craftsman Racer. But they do have these square holes right here. That's where the uh, mower support went down through. These these two chassis, they did, they did share the uh, similar mower decks. They both had 42 inch decks on them at one time. And Craftsman hasn't changed any, anything with the 42 inch decks in quite some time. So those mounts are all the same through both these two chassis. So I should be able to use either one of these holes, probably them both, to help uh, square up my uh, template and line it up on the uh, Craftsman Racer here, get rid of the first gen steering. I did pick up a hole saw bit to drill out the holes for the uh, two center big holes on for the second gen steering. I don't know if I need both of them, I'll have to check that out. I think the second one might be a bearing that comes through. I know the first, the one at the front is the actual steering rod. So I gotta see if I do need both holes or not. The uh, steering rod on this was actually uh, seized up. I almost had to cut it with the grinder. Luckily I didn't. But um, this chassis is donating quite a bit of parts. It's donating the back half to my workhorse tractor. It's donating the center half as a template for second gen steering, which I'll actually hold on to. Like I did with the uh, engine mount mounting plate template. And it's going to donate the entire front half of the chassis just behind the back engine bolts all the way to the front. It is bent a bit on the front, but that's easy enough to fix. This is a uh, second gen uh, front, front steering arm, so the frame is not cracked. So it's going to donate the entire front half to the Murray. There are a few plans that involve the original hood from this machine with the Murray. A lot of people have figured that out. And it's actually pretty good. It's going to help keep my engine protected, especially in the rain, snow, etc. But these two chassis are pretty much lined up nose to nose, like going long ways, obviously, not nose to nose. But uh, you can see the difference between them. Obviously, the racer is lowered, and the front end is pushed farther forward, and the back end of the racer is also lowered. You can't really tell on it as of right now because the back tires on the racer are 20s. This one here has 18s, so it really matches bringing them out, back out to stock, what they would be at. But if the racer had the slicks on the back, which I do have, uh, they need to be retubed, it would actually be quite a bit lower. I do plan on putting those back on at some point. Also, the racer has a flat front tire on the left-hand side if you're sitting on the machine. I'm trying not to remove the rear fender on the racer. I don't want to monkey around with the throttle cable too much. Uh, I don't want to break it primarily. I don't have the funds. I'd have the funds to replace it, but I don't have the funds to replace it. I'm trying to hold on to some money at this point right now and basically buy what I need to buy and work around what I ha work with what I have. I did sell the other Craftsman tractor this morning, so it's out of here. I got a good amount of money for it, so I'm happy about that. And that basically bought a couple things I needed for uh, to work on these the tools I needed and. Uh, Help my bank account out a bit. But there we are for now. Also, a little side note. The racer tractor used to be a hydrostatic, but it was converted over to a six-speed manual. Or it's technically a six-speed manual, but um, it only gets one through four due to the uh, it being lowered. But not a big deal. I'm happy with the gears that I have because this thing flies the way it is. But uh, it used to be a manual. Or sorry, it used to be an automatic. It was converted over from another parts tractor I had. Um, really easy to do on these tractors. All you really got to do is change out a rod that goes right between here and here. I can't really show it on either tractor because this one here had the uh, foot pedal. But there's a rod that goes between here and here. That's all you really have to change out because it has a different mounting pattern on the rod. So it can be done as long as you have the parts machine to do it. 
or if you have the rod material, some bushings, and a welder. You can pretty much build it up, build it the way you want. But there we are right now. I'm going to get the, my uh, templates cut out, get this machine cut into a couple different pieces. The front half will go over for storage for now. The back half, the same thing, will go over probably behind me for storage. And I'll get the center section ready to become a template forever until I'm done with it or, like I said, probably end up holding on to it. So I'll talk to them later. Please keep your redneck like always and uh, please try and comment. And if you thumbs down my video, please tell me why. Bye for now.